Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and in this video we are going to explore how to use an external um, MIDI controller, a keyboard or sequencer or pagiator with the Noodler. Um, Noodler has a lot of different ways that it can accept uh, MIDI input and do various things with it. The simplest thing it can do is um, pass through. So you can play any any anything you want um, as long as it's not on um, one of the channels that are reserved for the Noodler control channel, in this case it's 15, or the keyboard transpose channel, in this case it's 1. Right now I've got it on channel 2, so it just passes right through. Um, if you do change it to um, the transpose channel, what happens is it'll keep uh, it'll transpose the white keys to whatever key you're on in a noodle. So right now it's in C and I'm playing a C. But if I transpose it to G, now when I play a C here, you should see a G play. Let me double check. Yep, a G plays right there on the keyboard. So that's the transpose stuff. Pretty straightforward. It lets you play along then if you wanted um, uh, to play along with the noodler and stay in key. By the way, if you hit a black key. It'll just play. It'll just um, play the nearest white key note. Um, so you'll you can't fat finger. That's the beauty of it. Um, the next thing you can do is oh by the way if you turn on the rotator or the interval mode which are two other videos then you want to use this transpose channel and that will route the notes into those. Um, two little algorithms that we have, but go check out the other videos on that. Okay, the other thing we could do is we can set it to the noodle or control channel. That's set to 15. So I'll go over here and set this to output on channel 15. And now what this is going to do is it's going to be a controller for the noodler. So let's go ahead and put us back in the C mode. Uh, C, uh, the key is C, so it's easier to follow. If I hit this key, it's not changing anything because it's already in chord degree one. But if I hit the D, it's going to move us to chord degree two um, and right up E, F, G, and then A, B, and then back to C. And so this is a quick way that you can um, change the, the chord degrees um, without having to touch the noodle. So I'm playing uh, a motif one. And you can hear that it's changing as I as I hit the keys. What the black keys do is it changes what the um, uh, the next chord is going to be. So in this case, it is going to be sus two or sus four. And if I use these keys, it changes it between triad seventh and sixth. And then these keys um, down here is alt one and alt two. Those are basically the the shift mode for the um, chord degree buttons. So the six triad and seventh, the sus two and sus four, and the alt one and alt two. So the black keys will change those modes. So that's very fun to use. Um, and you could set your rate to a very slow um, uh, apagiator beat per minute. And if I turn that on, you can see that it's changing. It's basically apagiating. Yeah, so that's another cool way of controlling the noodler is by apagiating the control keys for the noodler. It's kind of a little meta, but um, I guess you can figure out what I just did. Um, where things get really fun is in the modulation matrix. So if I hit the menu button and go over to this, uh, let's let's try the, um, try the motif modulation. So what I'm going to do is um, choose the source of the modulation. And um, what's really cool about that is that when you go past all the LFOs and stuff, you get to these um, keyboard inputs. So there's velocity and pitch bend and mod wheel and aftertouch. So, wow, what can you do with that? So now what happens is the keyboard becomes a controller for the noodler in ways other than controlling the, um, the uh, chord degrees. So if I assign, let's say, the um, 
pitch bend. Uh, let's do um, after. T let's do velocity. Velocity is a good one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to. What am I going to modulate with the velocity? I am going to modulate the pattern length, and then we'll turn up a little bit here, so that'll vary between one and nine notes. So if I hit it really soft, it'll only do one note. Let's give this a whirl. You can see, now I'm gonna hit very softly on this key, so it should go to E. I think if I need to go in here and reduce this, there, there we go. Anyway, you can go ahead and you can use these various velocities and aftertouches to not only um, to affect the motifs and the pads. Um, so again, if you turn on a pad and hit this key and make the pad wider, or you could move the pad up or down its position based on the velocity or the aftertouch. There's so many fun things that you could do with the keyboard. Um, not to in in addition to changing the chord degrees by using the mod matrix with the inbound um, uh, uh, expressive um, MIDI messages. All right, um, what's the last thing that I wanna talk about? Oh, right, so if we go to, let's, uh, we'll turn on the motif in a second. Um, if I, want, I wanted to go to um, the pattern editor and you could see the pattern editor um, if I hit the different keys on the pattern editor, you'll notice those are changing. I can go down here and get the smaller notes. And let's see here. There we go. Yeah. So I can change this by hitting these notes. So let's give it a try. Yeah, so you can actually control what value the um, uh, the chord note, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the notes of the chord are being played in the pattern by using the keyboard. And if you make it uh, really small um, in length using this knob, then you can have a lot of fun changing one or two notes just going back and forth using the keyboard. Uh, let's go back over in here and turn that velocity, turn this completely off and let's go back and see there we go. Yeah, so if we try now. Yeah, so you can vary the what the notes do. Um, those are just a few of the things that the Noodler does with keyboard input. There are actually lots of variations on these things that you can play with. Have a look at the manual about that. And I hope you enjoyed this video about uh, expanding your horizons using the Noodler. Thanks so much for watching.